My name is Randy White and I'm going to be demonstrating the pharyngeal tracheal lumen airway or PTL. Always remember body substance isolation. Okay, now the PTL, the pharyngeal tracheal lumen airway, is also a double lumen airway. All right, it has two different lumens. It has two different tubes that, that, we, that we ventilate through. The first tube that we ventilate through is actually comes out this hole right here and if this is in the esophagus and this is in the oral pharynx then what we have here is there's only one place for the air to go and that's in the trachea now if we mess up and this goes in the trachea then we won't ventilate through this tube we'll ventilate through this tube and it goes all the way down into this hole and it'll go straight into the trachea so now, a couple of things to remember. Remember the indications and contraindications for the airway. You'll need to study those uh, in your book. Now, with this airway, what we want to do is we don't want to check it. And before we put the airway in, we don't want to check it because of the fact that basically this is folded in a particular way. And when we put this down the patient, we want to make sure that uh, it stays in that same fold so the airway is guaranteed and we don't need to um, worry about checking that airway. All right? Now, some of, the other, some of the other things. This particular portion of the airway is where we blow both this balloon, the, the proximal balloon, and the distal balloon up. Now, We'll have to close this port when we get ready to, to do that. And this is just so that when we put an advanced airway in, we can leave this port open, uh, closed and this port will open up and deflate this balloon so we can put an advanced airway in. This airway has a stylet, which kind of assists us in getting this in the correct place. And we'll show you that in just a second. All right, now. As with any other airway, we have many things, many tools that we're going to have to use eventually. Suction, stethoscope, we're going to take the bag valve mask with us and we're going to also take the oropharyngeal airway with us. So we're gonna set this up, patient at our mannequin and now as with any other airway, we're going to go through our routine. Sir, sir, are you okay? Are you all right? Okay, we're going to check for a pulse. We're going to say that the patient has a pulse. Now we're going to, as long as there's no neck injury, head tilt, chin lift, look, listen, make sure our patient is not breathing. If our patient is not breathing, we are going to ventilate, no oxygen attached because of the time constraint that we have to ventilate our patient. We're going to ventilate our patient twice. Now we're going to put down the oropharyngeal airway. We're going to measure off. Once we measure off, we're going to go upside down until we meet the hard palate, then twist as we go down. Now we're going to ventilate our patient. Now in the case with any advanced airway, what we are looking to do is we're looking to block off the esophagus so that vomit can't go up into the airway and give us problems into the lungs. And we want to protect our, our view into the lungs so that we ventilate just the lungs and not necessarily the stomach, all right? Now, I'm gonna ask my assistant to come in. Matt, if you would, just come in and and ventilate my patient for me once every five seconds. And as with any advanced airway, we're going to have to call in for physician's orders. As we call in for physician's orders, I want the physician to know that I know some of the contraindications. We only use this airway in patients who are apneic, patients who are not breathing. So we ventilate the patient and we're going to call in at the same time that we're ventilating. Matt is going to take the patient and he's going to put him on high flow O2 so we fill up the oxygen reservoir. Now, I'm going to say, Med Center, this is Medic One, 
and I need orders for a PTL. I have a 50 year old uh, male patient who has uh, who is not breathing. So already I've told them that the age is correct and that he's not breathing and so therefore he's unconscious. All right. So I get the confirmation to put the airway in and now it's just a matter of taking some water soluble lubrication and to lube up the airway. Okay, so I'll lube up the airway and now I'm going to have Matt go ahead and hyperoxygenate my patient just for about 30 seconds or so and remove the oropharyngeal airway. Okay, I have 30 seconds to put this airway in. Okay, mm -hmm. now what I want to do is after the airway is out, I want to make sure, and I have 30 seconds to do this, I want to make sure I pull the chin down and I push the airway in with the curvature of the, the, the curvature of the mouth and then I'm going to wrap this chin strap or neck strap around the neck through the airway and back down. Now in this particular airway you're supposed to blow this up with your mouth. Now I'm going to use a bag valve mask device because this airway has been used several times before and so I'm just going to use that to blow the airway up. Okay, all those balloons inflated. I made sure that my stopcock was on here and that this one was loose. And now I'm going to ventilate the colored tube. Okay, I'm going to listen for stomach sounds. I'm going to listen for lung sounds. If I have those, the distal end of this tube is in the esophagus. It's where it should go. If I don't have those, I will take out the stylet and ventilate the colored tube. Now I'm going to listen for stomach and listen for breath sounds. And I should have breath sounds. If I have breath sounds, then that means the distal end of this tube is now in the trachea. So we've effectively intubated our patient. Now let's just say our patient is coming awake again. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we get this airway out on somebody who is awake. So because they're going to gag and 99% of the time they're probably going to throw up as you're taking this airway out. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our suction unit ready. My partner will bring that over. Now we're going to lay the patient over on their left side. Now, just for the camera's sake, we're going to lay the patient over on the right side. Okay. I'm going to explain to my patient what I'm going to do. When I take this airway out, you have an airway in your, in your mouth, and when I take this airway out, I want you to forcefully cough when I count to three. Are you ready? One, and I'm going to remove the stopcock here to deflate both balloons. Two, and now I'm going to say three, out comes the airway, then suction, 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 suction. Now we're going to put the patient on the left side in recovery position or depending on the problems, the other problems with the patient on the back and now we're going to make sure that we add 100% O2 to our patient using the non-rebreather mask.